For a while here I've been wanting to make a video on uh, hill holding vegetation. I'm up here in northwest Colorado out in the uh, desert, pinion juniper, sagebrush, ecotype, and this particular grass here is uh, the, our local hill holder vegetation. Now you can see him standing on a pretty steep slope here in the old gully down there. And there's a tree to get the vertical angle for you. Fairly steep. I'll step back here just a little bit and show you these clumps of grass here. So this particular clump of grass right here and that one right behind it are pretty clearly got this little bench behind them on the hillside there. And you can see that a lot of the other ones up here do as well. Now, this is a pretty easy way to tell what kind of vegetation you might be able to use in your area and to uh, reinforce and build build swales um, without, without uh, having to do the work of rebuilding them all the time. You can see as the sediment runs down the hillside here, it gets stuck behind this tall grass and the grass just comes back up from the roots and builds these little benches. It's got a pretty steep spot behind it, a little bench in front of it, and then the hillside continues up at its regular pace. You can see with that little vetch there, it doesn't have near as much of a um, step behind it. It's actually been eroded away from around it. You can see the soil it has eroded eroded away from it around the edges and then uh, also with the other vegetation the uh, the junipers hold it hold the hillside back just a little bit but not near enough to make that much of a difference and I think that's a mountain mahogany up there they don't have much of a bench behind them either although they they might on on a lesser slope um, sometimes it seems like they do, but these, this particular grass here, some, you know, the, the cheat grass that's around here, it doesn't do it. Um, a lot of the other clumping grasses even don't do it, but if you take this stuff and plant it along the ridge of a swale, or, um, if you've got them, if you, if you don't have the means to water it, you just dig a little swale for it, plant it along the edge of that swale, and if it gets any water into it, it ought to establish and continue building that swale by trapping this sediment. And that sediment will trap the water along that contour. So that's uh, how to tell what the, the little bench behind it is the indicator of how to tell what's doing this in your particular environment. And the, uh, the use of it is plant it on contour. If you have the irrigation, you can just plant it on contour and it'll, on a eroding hillside, and it'll build the swale itself. But this, uh, but if you don't have irrigation for it, you'll have to dig a little swale and plant it along the ridge. So, yeah, have a good day.